have crippling depression. Hello, today I just want to talk about Bob Lazar. He's a scientist, ex-scientist, was a scientist at Area 51, so he leaked information about aliens and and that that is the result of September 20th. Bob Lazar was a scientist and uh, there was this film called Bob Lazar Area 51 and the Flying Saucers. So it's about Bob Lazar and his interviews and his um, his evidences, you know. I believe that guy, he spent 30 years of his life and he's, he, his statements never changed, you know. That's 30 years, 30 full years of his life, like half his life gone, Half-Life 3 confirmed. Now the only question left, is Bob Lazar a Bob Lazar? Now you might think, just get over it with this joke, but I have evidence to back it up. Now Bob Lazar never shows his emotions, uh, straightforward answers, lack of emotions, you know, uh, all the traits that a reptilian might have. A reptile, a hybrid that looks like humans, just like uh, the most notorious uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, so uh, the evidence I have to back it up, you can just look it over here, his former self in an interview, no emotions. Now what do we say when there's no emotions? Cold-blooded. Now is Bob Lazar perhaps not a reptile, not a human, but an alien itself? Now, you might be thinking, why would he leak um, alien technology? What if they don't care? Now, Bob Lazar might be a Christopher Columbus for the aliens and he might come here to discover everything and he might be the beacon of light, from, um, of, of hope, of communication between us and the aliens. Now, of course, this is all just speculation, but we might See the truth at 20th September 2019. <laughs>